Your first your elbow should be in a straight line. If you hit it like that, you make contact with that knuckle, you break it. And you can give you that. And you can also give you a double one on that, so you could actually do the way. Or you can give you like that to here. You can give you just half of that. And the same, so anytime you get a hook, there you can give you any one of the variations. Alright, right, let's proceed. Oh. Good, good. Good, good. IFO is an uh, organization. Um, we have uh, worldwide representatives all over the place. Um, we're always looking for people who have got a passion to teach no Jeet Kune Do the way it's meant to be taught. We train here in uh, Glasgow in this really kind of small garage that has an amazing atmosphere. So, you know, it's open to all IFO students throughout the world. And our goal here is to turn out the best students we can possibly turn out. <laughs> So you want to try and use a full range of Yeah, I do. Let's change. For the past maybe 30 or 40 years, the standard as you can do has really been pretty bad globally. It's in such a mess, it's unbelievable. It's been really kind of misrepresented so much that it looks like something that was never intended to be. I think at the start it was confined and then later on it just kind of spiralled out of proportion and just got to something that, you know, doesn't represent you can know. So my kind of goal with the organisation is set up uh, and the people who represent me in different countries is to bring the standard of the martial art back up to what it's supposed to be and turn out the best quality instructors, group leaders and students we can possibly do. This isn't an easy task. It's incredibly difficult trying to fix something that's been in a mess for close to 40 years and also trying to bring simplicity back to Bruce's martial art which seems to be in totally missing. Let's go, go to the shop. Okay, I'll go close on the hook. Give me that again, step in, see that? Okay, good, relax on the hook, turn the hook in. Okay, let's go again. Right. Watch that. Right. So you've got to talk to him that, so see, you know, it's because he can't see shit. So, if he, if he's hooked like that and you don't see his hook, his body's slamming in, like that for here, you need to tell him. So is it when he feels it, he goes, that's what I mean. This is what he did with film, you got that. I think the complexity in martial arts is really a kind of good vehicle for making money for a lot of people because I have to keep showing them the next new thing or the next new technique or the next style that we can add on to what we're already practicing that keeps people coming back all the time. I really don't add anything to what we're teaching here. The only thing that we'll probably do is be inventing and conceiving and developing new training drills that will enhance you know, what we've already got because you know there's no other way you can go from point A to point B apart from a straight line or a curve line. And our goal here is to try and make these two lines as efficient as possible. If we're doing that, we're constantly hacking away, I think, through time, you know, the Jeet Kune Do that we teach under IFO will be a way ahead of everybody else. In fact, at this moment in time, I would say the JKD that we teach is world class and I don't think there's any other Jeet Kune Do out there that can actually beat it as far as the quality instruction and just how it's taught globally with the IFO representatives. Thank you so much. Don't take your leg back. This is a job that I really cherish doing, I really love doing it, and I love going to different countries and working with all my representatives to make sure that what they're teaching is spot on and that the students are getting the best instruction we can possibly give them. And our main thing is not just about let's see how many people we can get through the door, let's see how much money we can make. If you do the job right through time, the money will come. But the most important thing is to try and do the job right to start halfway to build a good foundation for the next generation of people that's coming behind the guys we've got here and behind the guys who are representing IFO in different countries. Jeet Kune Do is an absolutely beautiful martial art. It's a martial art that I think 
a lot of people, uh, as far as the original martial art, haven't really seen. I think a lot of people, when they see it, they really can't believe how streamlined it is, how you can just move from point A to point B and you can attack targets and conclude things as quick as possible and end it, rather than going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, take them down and blah, 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 blah. You know, this is commercial stuff that's good for making money, but our goal is to set our standard and our levels as high as possible. Again? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> 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 